What's up guys? This is Travis with my brain back and today is just going to install the the software we're going to need to start developing some 3D graphics and animations and all that sweet stuff. Um, so we're going to go to our browser and the program's called Blender that we're going to use. It's, you know, probably one of the best free softwares that's out there right now, so pretty much everyone can get this. And just type in blender.org org um, and then it's going to take you to their home page. We're just going to go up to the download section and then as you can see at the moment Blender 2.57b which is stable at the moment um, is out. So this is what we're going to download for for Windows. You want to download um, either your 32-bit or your 64 Linux. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, and you pick which, uh, which system is best for you and um, you can just click here and it's going to start your uh, start your download automatically which is nice if not you can click here uh, it's just basic download you guys are probably familiar with downloading stuff I'm sure and we're just going to let that uh, set up and I just kind of want to talk quickly about what this uh, little series is going to be it's going to be a little bit about you know modeling um, and animating and uh, basically exporting your project so you can work with it in like some uh, video software like After Effects um, so it's gonna be pretty neat um, trying to think of some other things that we're gonna do but uh, I don't have to because now the download is finished so what we're gonna do is just uh, unzip it now and and then just drag it wherever you want we're going to open this up. As you can see, it's still doing some uh, Android stuff there. And just hit uh, open. Install. Just agree. If you guys want to read through that, be my guest and go ahead. Um, now it looks like I'm going to have to find some other stuff to talk about why it's finding the software and installing it and all that great stuff. So, yeah, we're going to get into some sweet stuff. Um, basically we're gonna lean towards uh, for graphics and like movies but also you can use these graphics for like OpenGL programming games all that sweet stuff uh, so there, it's pretty versatile um, you don't have to use it for anything like that you can still just make animation movies within itself uh, if that's what you're interested in but you can when you're developing 3D models um, as you see like in all the movies now like Transformers and all that uh, you know all that stuff that's what we're going to be doing or heading towards anyways um, so we're just going to let this install as I'm stalling on what to talk about and uh, it might take a little bit all right it's getting all nervous there. I can't, can't think of anything to talk about. So I'm just picturing you guys naked right now. Oh my gosh, why did I do that? It's a terrible analogy or whatever tactic to use. Um, and then we're just going to try and open it again. And as you can see now, it's loading Blender. And look at that sweet graphic, that chameleon zebra thing man it's sweet and if you guys do like blender I always recommend giving donations because that's what it's all about when you get some like free help or like free software that you can use it's always nice to give back a little bit so um, if you do get like it and you do like what we're doing here um, you can either give a donation to my bring back for teaching or you know blenders software itself because that's just awesome and this is kind of the layout uh, I'll talk about in this in the next tutorial, but I just wanted to get you guys caught up with the software. So peace. See you next tutorial.